Hello friends, welcome to Codeboard. So in this video, we are going to see the logic for reversing a number in Java. Reversing a number logic can also be used to find if the number is palindrome or not. Palindrome means the number should be equal to the reverse number. So that we are going to see in the next video. But in this video, let's understand the logic of reversing a number. So before starting the actual code, we'll understand how the logic is going to work. So for example, if we have a number 546 and let's say we want to reverse it and print 645. How to do this in Java? So let's see step by step. So our number is 546. We'll store the number in a temp variable. Now just for printing the reverse number, it is not necessary to store the number in the temp variable, but for palindrome, it can be used. So we are just storing it in a temp variable. And we'll take a variable called sum, which will initialize to zero and sum will actually have the reverse number. Now actually we have named this sum because the logic actually sums up the remainders to find the reverse numbers. So let's see how. So let's say first we have 546 and for reversing we need to take out 6 from 546. So whenever you want to take out a last digit from the number, you divide the number by 10. So for example, if you have 44, if you divide 44 by 10, the remainder is going to be 4. That is the last digit of the number. Now similarly, to find 6 or to take out 6 out of 546, we are going to divide 546 by 10 and the remainder will be 6. Now 6 we need to store in a variable. But for that, we are using a formula sum into 10 plus the remainder. So initially sum is 0 into 10 plus 6. That is going to be 6. Now we can directly take 6 but why we are not doing that is because the next number is just not going to be 4 but 64. So now 6 is the remainder and when we take it into sum that is 0 into 10 plus 6 it is 6. In the next iteration it is going to be 6 into 10 plus 4 that is 64. So we have to form the numbers like this. That is why we have used this formula that is sum into 10 plus r. So whatever sum remains, it will add the next number into that by multiplying the number. So let's see the next iteration. Before starting the next iteration, we have to take the number as 54 now. So 6 already has come out of the number. Now only we need 54 for the next logic. For, so for that, we'll divide the number by 10. So 546 divided by 10 is equal to 54. So originally number was 546. Now we have divided by 10. So, the number is going to be 54. Now, whatever operations we'll do will happen on 54. So, now we have 54 and we want to take out 4 from that. For that, again, we'll divide 54. That is a new number by 10. And the remainder is going to be 4. That remainder will add into our sum. But for that, first sum will be multiplied by 10. So, 6 will be multiplied by 10 to form 60 and plus 4 is going to be 64. So in this way, we have reversed two digits. So I hope you get the logic behind using this formula for sum. So now for the last number, we are again, again going to divide 54 by 10 and we have 5 left. So 5 we need to again take out for that we divide 5 divided by 10 and the remainder is 5. So this remainder we are going to add to our 64 by the same formula. So 64 into 10 is 640 plus 5. We have our number as 645. And finally, 5 divided by 10 is equal to 0. So whenever we get 0, we are going to stop our iterations. So in this way, we have our final number that is 645. So first we take the remainder, then add that remainder to our original sum by multiplying it by 10 and then adding the remainder and then we divide the number by 10 to get our new number eliminating the remainders so in this way we have taken out number one by one and we have formed our final number now let's see this in code we are going to create a new project and see how this logic actually works in java so we'll create a new project for that click on file new Java project and program 4 with the default settings let's click on finish 
and in the source folder we'll have our class with main method and the name is number reverse you can give any name and com dot code board dot programs is going to be the package so let's click on finish and here we are reversing a number okay so let's take input from the user first with scanner we're going to use scanner so let's import it so our first step is take input number from user now this is a number so int number equal to sc dot next int we are going to use in this way he, we have our number let's print a statement before this please enter a number so in this way user will enter a number now next step is iterating a loop till value of number is zero so we are not going to use for loop using while loop is a better option here to check the loops until the value of number is zero so we are going to say while our number is greater than zero so we have seen our logic wherein we are going to iterate the loop till dividing the number evaluates to zero so we are going to say while number is greater than zero okay now the first step is to take the remainder so to take out the last digit we are going to divide the number by 10 and find the remainder so let's take the variables first we'll take int sum equal to 0 and int remainder equal to also 0 and our first remainder is going to be number mod 10 so here 6 is going to come out in the remainder then we use our sum formula so sum is equal to sum into 10 plus the remainder so it is going to be 0 into 10 plus 6 which is just 6 plus remainder and finally we reduce the number to the two digit number if that is three digit already so divided by 10 so new number is equal to number divided by 10 and we'll take a temp variable you don't actually need it but a temp variable to store the original number if you want to print that reverse of a number is this so temp is the original number now this loop will go on till the number does not come to zero so finally we are going to print reverse of temp is sum because sum is going to have our actual reverse number now if i run this and if we say 546 the reverse is 645 so this is how simply we have coded and the logic works we'll debug this and see how actually the code is evaluating so we'll debug this as java application and the number is 546 so here we have our debugger the number now is 546 on the next step the remainder is going to come which has come out to be 6 that is 546 mod 10 the remainder is 6 then in the sum originally which was 0 in that 10 is multiplied plus the remainder so the sum has come out to be 6 and finally the number divided by 10 is going to evaluate 54 for the next loop so now we have 54 for 54 same process is going to be followed remainder is 4 original sum was 6 into 10 is going to be 60 plus 4 that is 64 so the sum is 64 and now finally number is left to 5 so now the number is 5 now again if we take remainder it is going to be 5 sum is going to be 64 into 10 that is 640 plus 5 that is 645 so now we have our reverse number 645 and again number divided by 10 is going to evaluate to 0 so number is 0 it will come out of the loop and print our statement 
So this is how we have reversed a number in Java. So let's try one more example here. If we take a bigger number, let's say 98765, the reverse is 56789. You can also try this program and debug and check how 98765 is reversed to 56789. And in the next video, we'll see how to use this logic to check if the number is palindrome or not. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video. If you have any suggestions or questions, please mention them in the comment section below. Thank you.